Okay, so let's say we're going to talk about pheromones, um, and especially in cats. Pheromones are chemicals produced by specialized glands that help animals respond and communicate to their environment. And one animal that is really receptive to pheromones are felines. So one of the reasons why felines are so receptive to pheromones is because they possess a specialized organ on the roof of their mouth called the vomeronasal organ. And this, as you can see in the picture. Yeah, maybe point it out so people can see the um, spelling. There you go. This connects the roof of the mouth to the nasal cavity, and it's lined with olfactory receptor cells. Um, humans have 20 million olfactory receptor cells, and cats actually have 67 million. Um, this is one of the reasons why they can sense these pheromones and have an uh, increased sense of smell. And um, one of the responses to the vomeronasal organ is called the flimining response. And we see this in our cats when they crinkle their nose, stick their tongue out. This isn't because they just got a whiff of something they didn't like. Um, it's actually them opening up their mouth so they can use this organ to get a better sense of a smell that they picked up in the area. And um, the vomeronasal organ is also known as the Jacobson's organ, and it's also found in horses and snakes. So cats have many glands that they use to produce pheromones. Um, one of the most often that we see them using is their facial glands. Uh, we often see our cats are up against us or up against our furniture. Um, this is them releasing their pheromones from the different glands on their cheeks, uh, their chins, and their foreheads. Um, and this is a, actually a calming response. They do this when they're comfortable with something. They rub up against you, rub against their furniture as um, a way of releasing their scent so that later they can recognize this area and say, okay, I'm comfortable with this. Um, another pheromone production center is the anal glands. Um, and this releases pheromones in both the urine and the feces. And this is more of a territorial response. Cats are very territorial animals. And so they'll do this to mark their territory, let others know, hey, I'm here. Um, we actually also see um, pheromone releasing glands on the paw pads. So when your cat scratches on um, a scratching post or your couch like mine likes to do, um, <laughs> this is them releasing their pheromones onto that scratching post or your couch. Um, another way of marking their territory and um, letting others know that they're there. And actually nursing cats um, have pheromone releasing centers activated in their nipples. So um, when kittens are nursing, they can recognize their mothers if they get lost and it also induces a calming response. So like I said earlier, one of the major uses of pheromones is for communication. Um, cats will, are especially prone to marking their territory as you can uh, see in this picture. Um, they're very territorial animals and it is a way of them letting others know that they're in the area and um, this is their area. Uh, another way that they use pheromones to communicate is for mating. Um, females, when they come into heat, will produce special pheromones that can be sensed by tomcats from miles away and um, they will come and know that this lady is ready to go. Um, they also, pheromones will also influence behavior. So that's one of the reasons why we see cats bury their feces is um, the anal glands release pheromones onto their feces and if they don't want others knowing that they're there or um, don't want them to know that they're in a vulnerable state, they will bury their feces. And it also influences grooming behavior. So sometimes when you pet your cat and they immediately lick themselves, it's not because uh, you messed up their hair. It's actually them getting your scent off of them because you're their territory and they don't want others <laughs> knowing that um, you're there. And this is also another behavior we see commonly in wild cats. And one of the reasons why house cats do this as well is um, wild cats are very territorial. Uh, tigers in the wild will scratch on trees, mark their territory on trees because they want others to know that this is their area, time to move along. And because pheromones also induce a calming response, 
um, companies are now starting to introduce uh, synthetic pheromones. This started in about 2001. And they come in all different forms, diffusers, collars, sprays. And these synthetic pheromones are meant to mimic natural pheromones and induce calmness in stressful situations like going to the vet um, or reduce spraying or aggressive behaviors. And two of the most common pheromone, synthetic pheromones that we see are um, feel away, which is over here. This is one of their diffusers. And feel away's um, idea is to uh, reproduce the facial pheromones so that cats um, are more calm. And uh, Sargent's Pet Care Products, um, this is a collar that they use. And they like to mimic uh, nursing pheromones to also induce calm. Okay, could you go back to the where it showed the all the glands? Mm -hmm. And okay, so I'm going to stop this for a second. So we're just showing this figure in large so people can appreciate all the different glands there are in the cat and how they leave scents all over.